Hey guys, Rick Stone here from the blog Our Stony Acres and the Online Gardening School. Welcome to our Friday gardening tip where I try and teach you how to grow your own food in a backyard garden. This week we're going to talk about seven vegetables that you can plant in the fall that can survive freezing and will do well in freezing temperatures. Before we get started this week, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and while you're at it, make sure you click that notification bell so that you know when I post new videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, so we're going to talk today about seven vegetables and these are my favorite seven plants that you can plant in the fall that can survive freezing temperatures and can grow well into the winter time or even beyond if you want. Okay, now these are my seven favorite. Uh, I recognize that there are other ones and I would love to have a discussion as to other plants that you guys have found that do really well and survive freezing. So let's talk about that in the comment section below. Now, all of these plants are going to survive frost. They're going to survive some cold nights and some freezing nights but they would do even better if you offered them some protection in the way of a, a fabric row cover, a hoop house, maybe a cold frame. Any of those things will really help to improve how long these plants continue to survive those freezing temperatures, okay? So go ahead and think about that as well. And at the end of the video, if you hang around, I'll uh, put up some videos on cold frames and hoop houses and how you can design and put those together, all right? So let's get started with our list. Number one on the list is spinach. Now, we love spinach for the fall and the winter. It's a perfect crop to overwinter. It's, it's very, very hardy. It survives freezing, frost, doesn't even bother it. It's just great. The colder temperatures actually improve the flavor and give it a nice uh, sweet taste to it. And, and so it's just perfect. And I did a whole video last week. I'll put a link up here on uh, how you can overwinter spinach. But spinach is number one on our list and it's a great crop that will survive freezing because it's so hardy. Uh, it'll do really, really well, especially if you put it in a cold frame or a hoop house. Number two on the list is carrots. Now, if you have never had a winter harvested carrot, then you are missing out on one of the greater things in life. Well, okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but winter harvested carrots are fantastic. And the reason why is because those cold, freezing temperatures change the starches in the plant into sugars and that makes them really sweet. We're talking candy bar sweet. They are just fantastic when you grow carrots and let them uh, go into the winter time and get frozen a few times. So there are a couple of ways that you can deal with carrots. Number one, you could just plant them, get them up and growing and then when the cold weather comes you could cover them with straw or leaves or something like that. That's a perfect way. The problem with that is is that when the really cold weather comes and the ground freezes it becomes a little bit difficult to harvest those carrots because you kind of are basically prying them out of the ground. A better solution is again to use a hoop house or even better a cold frame because during the daytime when the sun is on that hoop house or that cold frame the ground thaws out and it makes it easy for you to harvest those carrots. Number three on the list is kale. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a lot of you don't like kale. I don't love kale. I eat it because it's good for me. But if you grow kale when it has the, the possibility to be frozen, so in the fall and in the winter time, it changes kale completely those freezing temperatures sweeten it up and make it just a fantastic, delicious, totally different beast, okay? Maybe delicious is an overstatement, but it changes kale a lot if it's been frosted or frozen. Uh, it just makes it way better. And kale is super hardy. In fact, there's a lot of years where we'll grow kale out in our garden and not even protect it at all and it will survive the entire winter. So kale is very, very hardy, especially if you look at the, like the, the curly leaf varieties, those seem to be extra hardy and do really, really well. So kale is a perfect plant for freezing temperatures. Number four on the list is a plant that you are probably not very familiar with. It's called mosh, okay? Mosh is also known as corn salad, and a lot of times you'll see the leaves sold as corn salad, or if you live in Europe, it will sometimes be listed as lamb's ear. So mosh, as you can see from this picture, is a kind of a, a leafy lettuce type plant 
that actually uh, you can use it like you would lettuce in a salad or something like that, but it has a slightly different taste. It has kind of a, a nutty flavor to it, uh, good texture on the leaves, a very, very delicious crop, and it is super hardy. So it will do so well with freezing temperatures. It'll stand up, if you live in like a zone seven or above, uh, it will go the whole winter even without protection. For those of you that live in zones six and below, uh, you'll probably want to offer it a cold frame or a hoop house uh, to protect it when it really gets cold. But uh, it survives super well and in fact it's one of the few plants that actually will continue to grow even when we have less than 10 hours of sunlight. So during those winter months it will continue to grow and put on size. So a great crop to survive freezing. Number five on our list is Swiss chard. Now Swiss chard is a crop that normally you expect to see these big giant beefy stock plants you know and, and that's how it's harvested a lot is, is these big heavy leaves. But if you plant Swiss chard in the fall and then let it grow up till it's just you know six inches tall uh, and then the freezing weather starts to come it again makes it taste really nice and it survives those cold freezing temperatures really really well. You can almost grow it like you would a lettuce or a spinach or something like that. Grow it closer together and uh, it will survive those cold temperatures and give you a good harvest well into the fall or even into the winter time if you want to. Number six on this list you probably have never heard of before. And I have grown this a few times and really, really enjoyed it. It's a fun plant to grow. It's called Claytonia. And sometimes it'll be referred to as miner's lettuce. And the reason why is because it's native to California. And the gold miners back in the 1800s used to survive on this kind of weed that grows in the, in the California mountains and hills. Uh, that's how they would survive. And that's why it got the name of, of uh, miner's lettuce. So it's a, a leafy green. You can see from the picture that it's not a super productive plant. So it's a fun plant to grow and it does very, very well in the cold weather. And uh, it is another one that will continue to grow even if we have less than 10 hours of sunlight. But it's not a big producer. So don't plan on a giant bed of Claytonia giving you salads all winter long because that just isn't going to happen. It's not a huge producer, but it has a nice tasty leaf. You can even eat it when it flowers. Uh, the flowers taste good. It has just this kind of little small delicate flower and those taste good as well. So great crop, very hardy, does super well in the cold freezing temperatures. Number seven on the list is actually not a vegetable, it is an herb. And it's one of the few herbs that is hardy enough to continue to produce even when freezing temperatures show up, and that's parsley. So parsley is actually quite hardy, and especially if you plant it, plant it uh, early in the fall or, or late in the summer so that the plants are not huge, they're just kind of medium-sized plants, those seem to be really hardy and they do really well. Now, they're not as hardy as some of the other plants that we've talked about, like spinach and kale and mosh, uh, so don't expect them to survive unprotected the entire winter. But if you put them in a cold frame and you're careful with them and, and you maybe even protect them with a little extra fabric row cover or something like that, you should be able to get a pretty decent harvest of parsley throughout the winter months. So a great frozen crop that you can grow this time of year. Okay, so that's my seven crops. Let's go through them again. Spinach, kale, carrots, mosh, Swiss chard, claytonia, and parsley. Now, I know I missed some, uh, I'm sure that there are some of you that have grown other plants in the fall and winter months that have done really well with freezing temperatures. So tell me what they are. Put them down in, in the comments below and give us a little description. Tell us how they do and uh, what you have, your experiences in growing those has been, okay? Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and when you do, make sure you click that notification bell so that you know the next time I put a video out. And then if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and everybody have a fantastic week. Happy gardening.